But, uh, well, you should have heard John Nathan Turner's song. It was truly John Nathan Turner, all about him, of course. Yeah, it was, it was an interesting. I saw part of that. I saw the end of that, Alex, and it was something else. But right now, we are not going in there yet. I guess they're going to do the song without us. That's without okay. Us. That's okay. okay because well, unless George can get the microphone over you, to Peter, I don't know. I don't know if it'll reach over there. But if you were here at Dixie Trek, you wouldn't miss it. So we do invite you down. Those of you who did not come to Dixie Trek, you missed a lot. Yes. This has been a fantastic convention. You have one more day to come down, Sunday. I'm afraid th those of you who heard of a brunch with the guests, that has been sold out, unfortunately. But the guests have been very accessible here. Peter Davison just kind of roams the halls. Uh, John Nathan Turner the same, as, as well as George Takai from uh, Takei. I'm sorry, Takei, not Takai, yeah, from uh, Star Trek. They're roaming the halls. Are we, do we have them on now? <laughs> But Paul Simon sort of stuff, you know. <laughs> now, with the other hand, do you think you can hold this piece of paper? Which has... <laughs> the girl, the girl hand it to the, to the tie will stop in the middle and have a rest. You know? <laughs> but this is the, this is the, this is ridiculous. <laughs> This is a song I wrote years and years and years ago, which I, uh, um, I just explained very briefly the history behind this song. I wrote it before I ever came to America. Uh, you know, I think I wrote it in about 1970. And I'd like to apologize in case there are any policemen in the audience. <laughs> this is simply a, a humble English boy's idea of what being a policeman in America was like based on numerous television cop shows. And <laughs> And the city is not named, but it is absolutely not Atlanta. <laughs> okay, now it's got a chorus, and I'm going to sing the chorus. Oh, that's not in tune. <laughs> Never mind, we'll sing it out of tune. I want you to join in the chorus. This is the chorus. Oh, Officer McGurk, you are the greatest man alive. I do declare, not just a bad American accent. I do Okay, this is a story about a policeman called McKirk, and it was in fact the first song that I ever had uh, recorded, and it was recorded by the Dave Clark Five. Yeah. If you ever remember the Dave Clark Five, and, and uh, he was very good to me, he, he said to me that uh, he would, rather than buy the song from me so that I had no rights, he was going to give me 500 pounds for the for the song. He said he'd he'd sell, he'd just give me a proper contract so I'd get royalties and earn a vast amount of money. I got 50 quid. I probably forget the words. It's been a long time. Ago.
fella was taking the court. And a stroke, and he strode into the jury room. No one knows what he did in there. But the way it worked out was the fella went free and the judge was given the chair. <laughs> Yeah, you have. 